guys, I'm Kelty Knight, and you're watching New You. Now, you are hosting tonight. Yes. Tell me how you got involved with Phase 4. Yeah, so, um, obviously, I work on Entertainment Tonight, and a lot of charities and a lot of events come through all the time, and they're always like, do you want to be involved? Do you want to host? Do you have an open Saturday? Yeah. And when I found out what they were doing, what they're raising money for, I felt so passionate about it. And then to be here honoring Kelly Osborne, who's yeah. a friend of mine, and has always been so wonderful to me, um, I was like, where do I sign? Like, so it's, you know, listen, we, I don't get a lot of time off because I'm always traveling around the world, and um, but it's important to give back. And yeah. uh, if my only skill is talking, and so that's why I'm here. <laughs> and it's a fun event. I mean, there's a camel. I mean, there's a camel. There's a woman on like a stick floating back and forth through the air. It's terrible. How is she on that? I don't know. And then also the gowns. I mean, people are extra. I thought I was like, ooh, I'm overdressed. No, I'm underdressed. I'm basically in sweatpants right now. There's women with like headpieces and glitter gloves, and it's crazy. Yeah, they so. are dug out. It's really fun. Great cause. Great night. Yeah. Now, um, we focus a lot on health at New You. Do you have health advice that you would give young fans, your younger self? My biggest thing is that I try to not beat myself up when I'm not healthy. I always say, make a smart choice. And so I'll be sitting around to lunch, it's like, what do I want to do? Well, I want to eat pancakes and a milkshake, but like, make a smart choice. And then if I don't, and it's like, I'm feeling like it's the time of the month or whatever, and I need to eat like seven brownies, I just let myself off the hook. There's like so many people that are running around with like a lot of guilt and shame about their lives and how they live their lives, and I'm not into that. Like, life is hard enough for us girls, especially. Yeah. You do you, yeah. you know? Actually, Leah Michelle um, told me, she actually was the one who kind of taught me how to do Hollywood because she was like, listen, there's two ways to do Hollywood. You can either not eat or you can eat whatever you want and work out like a crazy person. And I was like, okay, I'd rather eat whatever I want and then work out every day. And that's yeah. what I do. Do you have a favorite workout? Yes, I do. Um, a mix of Beachbody and Kayla BBG. That's like the 30 minute workouts on each of at the apps. And I actually work out at the studio with my makeup artist. So we wow. like do the show and then I wash my face and then we work out before we go home. So it's good to have a partner, you know? Yeah, very cool. Now your skin looks amazing. What do you do in terms of your skincare? Um, I'm all about the exfoliation. So like before I came tonight, I was actually taking out my garbage and like cleaning up my garage like a real Hollywood starlet um, with my hair and like a hair mask and the Kate Somerville has this product called Exfolicate and it's green and it like enzyme peels off your face. Anytime I'm going to go on a red carpet or to an event or I'm just feeling like my skin isn't looking fresh I put that on and leave it on for like 30 minutes and really leave it on 30 minutes. yeah it's supposed to you're supposed to leave it like 10 yeah. but I'm an over achiever so I leave it on for like 30 minutes and then I always feel like my skin looks really fresh very cool and I also have my makeup artist Rebecca do my makeup so you know it's a lot of highlighter and like yeah. fake stuff you gotta have a good foundation though there you so go true. now have you heard about DNA testing for your beauty, like customized beauty, you can get a skincare line based on your genes, like do a, a cheek swab. I'm into that. I did the DNA to find out where my relatives were all over the world. So if it's gonna help me with my skin, here's the thing. When I was a teenager and I was actually dealing with horrible skin, they didn't have any of this stuff, and it's so unfair. And now that I'm past that part of my life, like really, you can DNA find out what I should be. What products you should be using? Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah.